Good morning. It's Saturday, July 25th, and we are giving you a top view of locomotive number 15. Taking a look outside the engine house. The train is gone. Engine number 10 has today's run. Just a little bit uh, interesting view from up here on top. Here is the uh, stack cover on top of the smokestack. The uh, stack cover is always placed on top when the engine's not being operated. It uh, keeps the heat inside, but also keeps other things from getting inside the smoke box. It's the headlight. This pipe here next to the stack, if we follow it down, you can see it goes to this device, which is a steam powered generator. We have electric lights on the locomotive up in the front in the cab but on the rear and this generator provides power. We're standing on top of the air tank. The air tank on this locomotive is on top of the uh, the board right there, the running board, and uh, that air tank is for the air brakes. Now we get a good look over here of the builder's plate and we can see that engine number 15 was built in 1913. Over on the far side of the locomotive, we can see the air compressor. And you can see just in the foreground on this, on this uh, handrail, you can see that there is a wrench attached to it. And that wrench is for the uh, air compressor cups. They're filled up with oil every morning. And that eye on top there is the use of the Air compressor also needs to be lifted off the locomotive. You can put a chain on that, lift it on up. Coming over here with the dome with the 15 on it, if we go up to the top, you can see here there's a cover on it. Let's pull that cover off and see what happens. Over here, trying to uh, get a good footing so we can show you. All right, so we'll take that cover off. Set that down on top of the boiler. And we can see inside there, we're gonna scoop inside and see what we can find. And inside here is sand. This is the sand dome. A little bit finer sand. You can see it, it is put in here by hand up on top. I'm gonna put that cover back on. Behind the sand dome is the steam dome. And you can see right here, there's a valve that's been replaced recently. That red valve will open up pressure. It's a pressure release valve that if we need to uh, drop steam pressure for any reason, we just open that up and it's called the monkey's tail. Behind the monkey's tail are two, let's see these, we'll call them valves, but they, uh, they really are the safety valves. And uh, one of them is set at uh, 200 pounds and the other one's set at 205. And these go off if it gets to that pressure and they stop when it dropped below that pressure. And then behind the safety valves, you can see the whistle. And then there's the cords for the whistle. And just beyond the whistle is the bell. And if we look over here on the other side, you'll see there's a handle on the side of the whistle. That shuts off the steam to the whistle so that when the locomotive is not being operated, that's off. But when the engine is operated, that lever is straight up, allowing the steam to come up that pipe. And then when that pull cord is done, the whistle sounds its beautiful sound. And if we look back into the cab, you can see all the windows are open. In the summertime, they'll leave the windows open, but in the winter, the windows are closed. Inside the steam dome here where all of the appliances are, 
is the throttle, the throttle valve. And when that opens up, it releases steam in through this pipe right here and then into the cylinders. And last thing I want to show you is hard to see because of the, the light, but here's a toolbox. You can see some extra hoses, air hoses, brake clubs. There's some uh, pipes. There's a, a wooden chalk for putting underneath the locomotive when we're parked. That can right there is full of nuts and bolts. Basically a little uh, everything box for things that you might need when the engine is operating. And there's a branch that 15 seemed to uh, pick up on its last time it ran. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour from up above. Something new that you don't see every day. We do, and we'd love to share it with you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.